from palm wine to gin. Yes. Hard liquor. Hello brothers, brothers, sisters, sisters, how are you doing this? Well, Cookie will see Nako and I'm back again. It's a beautiful brand new day and I'm here with another interesting video. If today is your first time watching, kindly subscribe to YouTube channel and tell notification bell so be notified when new video drops. If you are part of the family already, I'll say God bless you, thank you and I appreciate the support. So one thing you can do to support this channel is by sharing the video. So after watching or even before you watch, please share the video. Let's promote our local food, our local stuff to the world. Okay, thank you. <laughs> anyway, so this is the pipe. I remember my remember now. My editor. So this is the pipe and uh, for the boiling. So they need water to cool it, and this is the water. The river over here. Yesterday they did some sacrifice. Just in sacrifice, part of libation anyway, to ask for permission from the river so that the pipe can, so that they can uh, place in the pipe. So basically, if you know how alcohol is done, you need a tube, a coolant. Yeah, you need a coolant or water that will cool the tube so that the vapor will come, and that you get the alcohol. So since here they don't have that basin, there's a river here and uh, you need to ask permission. African believe and right. So some weeks ago I posted a video about how palm wine is being extracted from the palm tree by putting down the whole palm tree. If you've not watched that video, the video link will be in the description box. Check it out and enjoy yourself. So these farmers have their target and the target is to make hard liquor or hard gin, locally known as akpeteshi. So in this video, you'll be seeing how the storing process of the palm wine is done and also the purpose of the dead insect in the wine. There were comments from our brothers from other African countries and even some Ghanaians complaining about the waste of the palm tree. So my little knowledge about cutting down the palm tree and also what the farmers told me is that they are in the field of making palm wine and also to the story to make hard gin or hard liquor called apetishi. So for that reason, they need more wine to make this business grow or to make this process. So bringing down the palm trees gives them more wine than allowing to stand store in the soil. However, after harvesting, new plantation of new palm trees takes place. So I hope you like this video. Enjoy. Let's do this. Or one. <laughs> the next three years, this one will be huge. So this is small, like six months or something. A year. I'm one of many, many appetites. Oh, no, 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 Oh, okay. Wow. So they have sugar inside those, those drums. And tell me the sugar gum we are five days and so on. Yeah, Wow. So basically, yeah, I just got to know that they were they were adding so, uh, sugar to the palm yeah. wine yeah. before the. But some of them raw, yeah, and they move for sugar gum. Yeah. And they'll be sort of fermented cake. Yeah. In uh, Syria, because in Syria, all to the end to and to and. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Wow. No way. Mm. Paint rubber is good. So, I don't think you good. I think you're good. I think you're good. I think percentage no. I think you're good. 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 I Dead that. Uh -huh. Na ya mo. Okay, okay, okay. So after sugar has been added and stored for 5 days, it's now ready to be distilled. So gin or hard liquor was originated as a medical liquor made by the monks across Europe. But in Africa or Ghana, gin or hard liquor is mostly used by spiritual or traditional purposes. In Ghana, we have two main type of gin or hard liquor. The palm wine gin, which is akpatishi, locally known as akpatishi, and the sugar cane gin or liquor, which is also known as molas. So these two drinks have high percentage of alcohol, so you need to be careful when drinking them. You don't need to be addicted to it. <laughs> so in the area of malaria, gin with tonic wine was used to treat the sickness. Hard liquors have been around since the 11th, 13th century. <laughs> Yeah, so we have um, fire being set us under the uh, the tank, and uh, we had a tube this morning. So everything is being placed inside the cold water, and uh, now this is the alcohol, like the vapor 
is turning to alcohol. So this is pure. But you say, uh, how many percent? <laughs> Where local one? Uh, Enter how many percent? 100 percent. Ah, 99.9. Yeah. So this is the pure gin, and uh, it's 100 percent alcohol. Who that looking answer? Fetri, yeah, for Fetri, yeah, okay. So this is. Wow. Hey, you're Papa. Yeah. That means you're supporting now. I can tell one side. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? Sense look like a pet. See that pet? Anyway. Yeah, yeah. So this is the pure effect. So after hours of boiling and per the air calculation, they need to discharge the water from the drum because the alcohol is not coming anymore. And after the water has been discharged, they refill it and production continues. So we finally have our local gin or hard liquor or spirit. Yeah, so palm wine being distilled to hard liquor and uh, this is the final result. 100% Akpetishi, 100% gin or hard liquor. And this is the outcome and the outlook, yeah, of it. <laughs> so I hope you like this video. Give us a thumbs up, follow us on Facebook, TikTok, everywhere, social media handles, yeah, record. <laughs> <laughs> so let me take in for schism and drink responsibly. Or call the one. So I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I